rivers and cities. When a river is broad, the city stands aside, makes way and crowns it with bridges. A medium-sized river like the Irk can be culverted, but emerges a short distance away. But what of the smaller rivers, the brooks, the streams, that found themselves in the wrong place, in the middle of a city that was expanding and developing? What happened to those? Well, they too were culverted, sent underground, paved over, built upon, and were lost. Lost forever. When it comes to Manchester's River Tib, it's been lost and hasn't been seen for almost 200 years. Hello, my name is Martin and welcome back to another video. So today we're looking for the River Tib, one of Manchester's lost rivers. Now here's my disclaimer, we are not going to find the River Tib today. Unfortunately, I can't show it to you because as I said in the introduction there, it's been buried underground, under the city streets for about 200 years. So we certainly ain't gonna find it today. However, what we can do in this video is plot its course and see where it runs. Now, the most obvious clue is behind me here now. Now, believe me, there's nothing more I'd like than to be able to sort of take you around the corner just off Tip Street and show you something you've never seen before and say the following words to you. Behold the Tib! Only those who have bathed in its waters and drank of its pools are true Mancunians. But alas, that scene is not to be. Like I say, I can't show you the River Tib. Well, thank you to the River Irwell for standing in on my little skit there. Thank you very much, River Irwell. Anyway, let's get our heads around what this, this River Tib is. It has, I don't, I wanna, what I explain is that it's not this vast, fast flowing river that runs under, underneath Man, the city of Manchester. It's a small water course. At best, it's a stream, if you like. And the River Tib, I think, just found itself in the ever expanding city that Manchester was back, back in the day. And it just got in the way and it was just built over, paved over, culverted, and we never saw it again, basically. I think the last time it was seen, or the last time it ran open, I think was 1819. I could be corrected, but it was 1819. So it's a small water course, and when it's been raining very heavily, it runs like a little stream. But some of the Victorian writings about it describe it at times as just a ditch, and sometimes it's just a ditch full of stagnant water. I suppose that was during dry times when it was described like that. But it's a natural water course. It found itself right in the city centre of Manchester that was expanding. And of course, because of that, they had to deal with it. And it just got culverted, tunnelled and disappeared. So I have seen little pictures of it. I'll try and show you some. And it's just... Let's just say this, there, there have been times where there have been roadworks and um, it's been mistaken for a sewer uh, because that's what it looked like, a sewer. But it is actually a little culvert, a little brick culvert, an ancient brick culvert that carries the River Tib. Now secondly, the name, the Tib. Obviously because it's so old, um, one theory is that Roman soldiers, homesick Roman soldiers, called it the Tib after the Tiber. And because the Tib was a small river, they shortened the name as well to Tib, after the Tiber, back home in Rome. This isn't the case. The name Tib probably has got its, the same origins as the Thames and the Taff in Wales. And these words, Tib, Taff, Thames, 
relate to the, the name, the ancient name of a watercourse, and that's it. So it would be nice to think that the Romans named it after the Tiber, but it's got its origins probably in ancient language that just described watercourse. Now, the inspiration behind this video is this book. It's a book by Geoffrey Ashworth and it's uh, called The Lost Rivers of Manchester. And I was lucky enough to get hold of this book and I was been lucky enough to speak to Geoffrey who wrote the book back in the 80s, did a hell of a lot of research and he's given me permission to use the book. He knows it's my inspiration for this video and I'm gonna give you a couple of quotes from it. Now, the question is where does the tip start? What is the source of the river tip? I'm gonna quote directly from the book. The river tip rises in a spring called Cowper's or Cooper's Pit on the west side of Oldham Road, about 200 yards south of Collier Street on ground now covered by the railway yards. So there you go. It rises from a spring just at the side of Oldham Road. Now I've been there and tried to find that source and it's very difficult. Here are the problems I've had. So as you can see behind me, those railway arches, they're the railway arches of the railway land where allegedly the source of the tib is. Now you can see it's raised up and it's quite in inaccessible. So I'd imagine that the source could even be somewhere underneath the arches maybe. Because if it's a spring it's going to come up from the ground isn't it? It's not going to come up from up there. So this is the problem, inaccessibility. Okay, so here's our underground map of Manchester, and at the top there, where the yellow arrow is, that marks the source of the tip, roughly. That must be Cooper's, or Cowper's Spring, uh, just off Oldham Road there. There's the satellite map, and you can see where the yellow arrow is at the top, just disappearing now, that's Collier Street. All the brown area there, that's railway land, and that's fairly inaccessible, I'll show you that now. Coming back to the satellite, um, you can see all the trees there. That's probably where the spring is somewhere. And incidentally, just where the green arrow is, that's pointing to some former a railway bridge that probably fed the old railway station down at the bottom of Oldham Road. So that's really interesting. That's another video, though, I think. And this map here just shows you where the Tib runs. It basically runs down New Allen Street and diagonally across Miles Platin under the houses uh, around the, the yellow oval area as it makes its way then towards Oldham Road. And then very quickly you'll just see there that yellow arrow is pointing out the course of the Tib there into Manchester. And indeed the Tib runs down from Oldham Road crosses just a little bit into Swan Street and then all the way down Tip Street behind me. And then onwards, believe it or not, into Piccadilly and underneath Piccadilly. Now, just while we're on Tip Street, probably long before the buildings on Tip Street were the buildings that they are now, um, I'll just quote to you from Geoffrey's book, somebody had a sighting of the River Tib and it was in one of the very, probably the very old houses. And it goes like this, this is what they wrote. When my mother first came to Manchester, she stayed for a time in a house in Tib Street, about opposite to Skoll Street. There was a lobby to the house and in it was a trap door covering running water. In the rainy season, the noise of the rushing water was fearsome. The tenants used to throw their refuse and I presume it says down into the river. So you can see that the river, the tip was also used as probably a sewer as well and as a rubbish tip as well. Now this map just shows you the route from Tib Street. Uh, you can see it crosses Market Street there. If you look at the yellow arrows there, just pointing out the blue line of the river and it crosses Market Street and it goes under all the buildings and down Mosley Street. You can pause that and have a bit of a study of that. No point me going to those areas because there's absolutely, as far as I'm aware, nothing at all to see. That is until we get to this map. And if you look at the yellow arrow there, it's pointing towards the Rochdale Canal. And here is a possible clue. Well, there is a clue here where, I'm, where I am now, just off the Rochdale Canal, just off Whitworth Street. And it's a very subtle clue. And there's another clue that 
I'm not sure whether it's linked to it or not. Well, let's go and check out these two things. Two things that you wouldn't think of, you would just walk past. So I've been walking up and down the canal bank here looking for this thing, this mark on the towpath. And slippy trainers, it's been raining, slippy wet canal bank. I haven't nearly fell in, but I nearly slipped on my ass a few times. Anyway, I finally found it and it's over there beyond the lock. So let me take you to show it to you. You wouldn't know what it was and it's a little clue to the Lost River Tib. Let's go and see. So as we walk across this bridge, our area of interest is just down there in front of those that wooden barrier there. Right, so for the past 15 minutes, I've been up and down this little section of the canal, looking along the edge, and it's as slippy as hell. And I think I found it, a clue to the River Tib. And it's a little marking down on the edge of the canal towpath, and it denotes where the trap door is. Look at this. So here it is, our little marker down on the canal towpath that you would never normally notice. And this little marker marks the spot where submerged underneath at the bottom of the canal is a trap door. A wooden trap door with a chain attached to it. Don't ask me how that works in terms of waterproofing, but that trap door, when lifted, drops down into the tip, which runs under here and out underneath Whitworth Street towards the River Medlock. Now that is probably the only clue we've got as to the tip. This marker. I don't know how long it's been here. I would imagine it's been here a long, long time. As for the trap door, I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But, amazing. <laughs> and this is the only insight we've got into the tip. And you have to know what it is to be able to know what it's pointing out. Love it. Now, this trap door, I don't think it's been open for many, many, many years. I've read something on the internet where somebody spoke to an old lock keeper. I spoke to this lock keeper many years ago, who was then in his 80s and said that the, the trap door hadn't been open for at least 90 years. So this thing is old, really old. And I did have a problem with a wooden trap door underneath water. And I thought, well, how does that work in terms of water tightness? And will it not just rot away? And I thought, well, a lot of the locks are wooden, aren't they? So maybe it, yeah, it has lasted years and years and years and years. So also another account where somebody went along when the canal, canal had been drained uh, and went along to that spot to see if they could see the trap door and it had all silted over and it was it was not visible at all. Now, this one's disputable because I've just decided it, I, I'm disputing it. Well, this might be another clue into the River Tib. Across the canal there is a little overflow and I did read something somewhere that that overflow runs downwards and into the Tib. However, let me show you something. First of all, let me show you the overflow. So just down at the other side of the locks now, if you look across the canal there, look at that little bubbling area there. I think that is that overflow coming out the other side. I think that's what it is, it's just coming out there. So I think that gully is possibly just an overflow for the locks. However, it could feed down into the tib as well. Not sure, really not sure on that one. I have read something that said it feeds into the tib, but don't know. Now that I've seen something coming out there, I dispute that, to be honest with you. Anyway, the tib, I'd like to say that the tib runs somewhere underneath this building here. So it comes from Chepstow Street over there. Am I right, Chepstow Street, yeah? And it, if you look at the map, it sort of comes this way underneath the building or maybe it comes further over here because the trap the trap door is there so it must come diagonally underneath this underneath here this building underneath the canal and then underneath the old hacienda building and out onto Whitworth street okay so just leaving that canal area now i'm going down onto Whitworth street 
and I'll just show you. So across here now is home, the new sort of cinema and arts complex. And the tip runs somewhere, probably near that red car up there, underneath here, underneath First Street and underneath all the new buildings and finally meets the River Medlock just over beyond City Road. Okay, back to our underground map and you can see where we are in Manchester there. The top arrow denotes the Rochdale Canal, the top yellow arrow, and you can see that's where we were looking around. And then it goes on under the Hacienda Apartments. I said before the Hacienda, the old Hacienda building, I meant the Hacienda Apartments. Goes under the Hacienda Apartments, underneath Whitworth Street, underneath all the railway arches, underneath the new home building, and you see there where it says Medlock Culvert? Well, that's the route of the Medlock there. You can see where the Medlock turns from one grey line into a blue line where it's culverted and turns back into a grey line. Well, somewhere in that culvert, the Tib finally meets the Medlock. And again, it's inaccessible. So just roughly where the bottom yellow arrow is, is roughly where the Tib meets the uh, Medlock. So unfortunately, we can't see that either. Back to uh, the video. But I'll just show you the start of the culvert here. It's over the top. I'll try and show you. It's hidden by a load of bushes. So here we are, journey's end. Just down there, as you can see, is the other side of that culvert where the River Medlock re-emerges just near City Road in Manchester. And it's in that culvert, deep down underneath, where we can't even get to and we can't even see. But from a small outlet, the Tib, finally emerges and flows into the Medlock. So I suppose, philosophically, you could argue that somewhere down there, in those waters, the waters of the Tib are swirling round and mixing with the waters of the Medlock. But, alas, we still, unless I went wading down there, we still can't see the Tib, unfortunately. There is, however, I think a picture that I'm trying to get hold of that I might have it by the time I get back and edit this video. Uh, a picture of the team emerging down in that culvert but it'd be great to go in there but I ain't going in there <laughs> so there you go journey's end for the tip it meets the medlock down here and there you go there's the picture there's the river tip emerging from its little culvert which has probably been built 150 200 years ago by Victorians and it emerges from that little spot on the side of the wall and it runs into the Medlock. Journey's end for the Tib. Or is that the spot? Because this is where the River Tib has its last laugh. Because when you try and research this where it comes out of the, uh, or pours into the Medlock culvert, there's two pictures and I'm not sure which one it is. Perhaps someone could correct me. I think it's the older one with the, the brick archway, but there's this picture as well um, that suggests it's the Tib flowing into the Medlock. Thank you, River Tib, for being so mysterious right to the end. There you go, the River Tib mysterious right till the end. If you've got any corrections or any extra information, if you put a comment down below in the comments section, um, that'd be great, thank you very much. Also, if you've enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to my channel. I don't make any money, it's all free, and it's free for you to subscribe, so consider subscribing because it's very motivational for me when people subscribe to your channel. Thanks for watching, give us a thumbs up, and I shall see you very soon in the next video. Take care.